you like the sun. <laughs> This man is a drummer like you. He has a okay. uh, he has a uh, one year more than you pick. He is a drummer of a rock band in Italy that make the history of the rock and roll. Gianni Acciaio. Allora, uh, dic diciamo no, tutto, no. tutto, guarda, guarda, Luca. Ferma, okay. ferma. Okay. Tu ti chiami Luca, sì? È yes. vero? Ok. Poi c'è Alberto che non si vede. Poi c'è Alberto. Okay. E poi E poi, poi? c'è Icham Icham è dall'Algeria. Icham is from Algeria and uh, is okay. the Icham. Icham. Nice to meet you. Ok, ok. In questo Alberto, no? Davvero? Ok, Alberto, ciao. Poi c'è poi Pic, poi c'è Adrian, anche lui dalla Spagna. Hi. Hello. Adrian. C'è Alessandro, Alessandro dall'Italia. Antonella dall'Italia. E poi c'è un tuo un tuo coetaneo, c'è Gianni che è un batterista come te. Gianni okay. is a drummer. Ciao collega. Gianni, Gianni, ciao, ciao. Eh, ok. Ho visto... Ok. Gianni, Gianni, hai visto che l'altro giorno non non da tanto fa. Allora, buonasera signora. Buonasera. Buonasera a te. Buonasera a tutti. Lui non mi spiega chi c'è. Why you say that? Okay, uh, Pic, we would like to know how is your new project. Okay, my new project, okay, is uh, I'm going back to how I began to be interested in music in England. You understand there was very little, little music on television. And what, tell, what music you heard was on the radio. And I'm going back to some of the old songs that I used to listen to and to see how I can play them these days, you know, because it's uh, rhythm and blues was where most of our English, British, popular music came from. You know, the Beatles played rhythm and blues and the Stones played rhythm and blues and uh, and it comes out of this american music which the beatles took to america and the stones reintroduced uh, american people to their own blues artists like muddy waters and bb uh, king and stuff you know that the, the americans said oh we like this music i said yeah well stones there's rolling stones said yeah these people live 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 in your country 
and uh, that's what I want to kind of revisit and see how I play them now because they all it also goes back to a time when recordings were all the musicians all the musicians were together you know you didn't do overdubs and uh, Vic, sorry I, sorry sorry if I stop you just one moment but I have to translate to, to the Italian that uh, doesn't understand so oh, okay, well English, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, Spanish friend, you have understood because you speak uh, very well English, okay. Uh, each time you have understood, there's no problem. Okay, ragazzi, allora, Pic um, dice che uh, ascoltando la musica in radio in Inghilterra si sente solo musica vecchia, musica uh, rivisitata, riproposta, lui vuole fare qualcosa di nuovo perché uh, i Beatles hanno introdotto Rhythm and Blues, hanno introdotto Rock and Roll, e i Rolling Stones l'hanno riproposto però poi alla fine quello che ha a che vedere con questa musica si ritorna sempre a Muddy Waters a quelli che sono stati i capostipidi della musica blues e rock della, della storia per cui lui vuole fare questo nuovo progetto e adesso Thank sentiamo ok Pete, thank you so much so uh, I explain to the other so you can uh, proceed thank you so much yeah. Okay. 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 I, I I have translated for the others. Okay. It's okay. So what do you want me to say now? Yes. You you can say you you can show us. Uh, uh, well, it's, it's it's going to be called uh, slim pickings. Okay. Which is a, a another phrase similar to dire straits. You know, um, you can see it in the translation slim pickings, and. Uh, it's basically, there's always good vocals. So I have a, a guy and a girl will be singing and then the rest is just a simple band, guitar, bass, drums and keyboards. And we will see when I make this Zoom gig, if there's any interest in it, because at the moment we can't play out. So we can't play in the, outside in the, with, in the public. So I have to see, um, have to see how it will be received. Calais, that's enough now. Sorry, I'm a grandson. He's fooling around. Um, so we, we will see how it, uh, if there's any interest, because, you know, I can only do what I do, you know. We're living in strange times. Coronavirus is a strange, nobody's had this experience before. And also strange times because the way people access music now is completely changed. And, uh, I much prefer it the way it was before, you know, with the LPs, with the artwork. You want to translate? Yes, thank you so much. Sometimes I, I will stop you to translate. Allora, okay. Sappiamo che questo è un momento molto difficile dove eh, per, eh, per riuscire la, 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 anche la musica, la, la, tutto quelli che sono gli eventi di musica in questo momento non, non si possono fare in pubblico, per cui lui vorrà fare qualche cosa che verrà trasmesso poi in, in eventi di Zoom e anche poi ovviamente messo su, sulla rete per cui sta organizzando qualcosa. Lui ha un gruppo di giovani musicisti, eh, non c'è nessun frontman come, come il nostro conosciuto, però ci sono tanti musicisti che si possono esprimere e lui sta portando avanti questo progetto per fare in modo di promuovere la musica in un momento difficile come questo. Ok. Okay. Well, that's it, really. There's, there's not much to say about it, you know. We have to have to see how it, people receive this gig, you know, the Zoom gig. So we take it from there, really. It's, it's no okay. use saying more about it. I'm very, I'm very excited about it because it's going back to how I began to play. And it's very interesting to see how I play it now because I'm a much, hopefully, a much better player now. So that, that's, that's all, really. That's all you can do. Seek to improve, play better. Simple. Where's Gianni? It's very important. Dove è Gianni, il batterista? Con gli anni ha imparato a suonare molto meglio, che adesso suona meglio di quando era qui della Straits, quindi suona meglio adesso di quando era giovane, per cui vuole creare qualcosa di nuovo da poter proporre suonando meglio. E, e mi, mi sta chiedendo, ti sta chiedendo qual è la tua opinione a riguardo, che con l'età si migliora. Io? Sì, dimmelo in italiano, poi io glielo traduco. <ride> sì, no. 
Con l'età si migliora certamente, si riesce a vedere le cose attraverso un, un altro canale e quindi si riescono a fare delle cose completamente diverse, no? anzi molto più profonde direi sotto certi aspetti, okay. Pic, anche musicalmente you... parlando, chiaro. Have you understood, Pic? Gianni no, I don't think so, no, no. Gianni, Gianni said that uh, with the age, with the age, uh, not, not, it's not only a growing up uh, like person, but like the explosion of the intensity of the sound of the technical and of the soul of the music. So it's uh, a, an improvement that uh, people make uh, uh, not only with uh, himself, But uh, with the growing up of himself, uh, it, it, uh, it will be more better also the, the way of the play music. And so it's more deep in the, in the soul and not only one technical movement, like uh, when, when, when one was young. It's okay? It's okay. okay. Yeah, I, mean, I just think that uh, when you get older, You don't play with so much uh, selfishness, you know, you play for other people as well. And it's, it's very difficult when you begin because you have so much concentration to play your instrument. And when you first begin to play, there's very little energy left to listen to the other people you play with. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy. The less effort you, you make in playing your instrument, the better it is to, to hear everybody else and to respond, you know. Yes. A lot of bands, a lot of music is this day, this day and age is, is played on, uh, on the digital format. It's very much uh, because they add, add things before the performance. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. The, uh, you don't get the same spontaneity you know you may have a band with three instruments and then they add keyboards and they add backing vocals and it's all programmed so yeah. you have to play everything to a click and you have to play everything the same every night and you have to you know it's it's not the same communal thing it's 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 a bit like a football team who okay. you know they that, they I, can I, only I i translate to the other just one moment. Allora, ehm, Pic dice che non è solo con la crescita, quindi con l'età, che si va a migliorare la propria tecnica, ma il fatto che comunque oggi che la musica è digitale, dove è facile prendere un programma e creare dei suoni e creare delle, delle musiche, dove, dove non c'è più quella presenza fisica della persona che è di fronte a un pubblico e dice mentre da ragazzino non hai la percezione di quella che è veramente la musica per cui fai eh, suoni eh, e hai una risposta da parte del pubblico mentre invece crescendo la risposta da parte del pubblico è qualcosa di più profondo è qualcosa di più elaborato e oggi dove la musica è principalmente fatta in modo digitale l'idea di riportare la la, 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 la fisicità della musica al, al pubblico è più importante di quello che magari eh, non sia il creare tanta musica. Ok, Pic? Dove siamo? Siamo... We, we, we have, uh, I, I translate uh, uh, so, a little bit that, that uh, you have said to all of us. Yeah, I, I understand, but I, I don't know what to say now. Okay, I, now we, we have uh, some, we have some question, question. We, we, we want to, um, to, understand, to, to ask to you the, the period before Dire Straits, when you, yes. when you collaborate with Primitive, with Magna Carta, with Spring, I know that there, that there is uh, one, uh, one, one very uh, crazy uh, episode with uh, Dire Straits in the first, uh, in the first uh, USA tour, when uh, someone uh, is uh, going into your, uh, into your room uh, with a spring uh, vinyl to ask to you your autograph and not yeah. dire straits. Is it right? Uh, I, I know it's, it's right to this, this thing. You want that story? Well, you know, when I first begin to play, yeah, first yeah. thing I went, I went to, 
I was very fortunate. I went to Germany. Yes. Everybody copied the or copied the what the Beatles did. You know, many many groups from all over England. They had an audition in London, and then they went to Germany and they played in all sorts of clubs and venues that uh, you could play for six, seven, eight hours. You know, because even in the sixties in Germany, the bars opened until four o'clock in the morning. You know, and in England, the bars closed at half past ten in the evening. You know, so mm -hmm. everybody went there, and it was it's, it's the beginning of a journey because if you go, si va all'estero, no, mm -hmm. non non puoi alzare e fare un 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 lavoro normale perché sei fuori casa, no? Certo. È così. In questo momento diventi professionisti perché mm -hmm. non puoi tornare a casa. Sei, per noi eravamo in, in, in Germania e siamo arrivati con 30 brani e, e dopo tre mesi avevo 120 brani, tutto diversi, tutto diversi tip, tipici di, di canzoni. Allora eh, abbiamo imparato tanto, abbiamo imparato a, a suonare insieme, mm -hmm. più bravo, abbiamo in, incontrato altri complessi che che suonavo con noi in lo stesso luogo, no? Mm -hmm. Tu suoni per un'ora e poi l'altro complesso suona per un'ora. Allora, e tutti quanti erano, non, non diremmo bravissimo, però abbastanza bravo che è così, abbiamo imparato tantissimo, tan, tante cose. Big, please, translate for, uh, for our uh, Spanish and German uh, friends. <laughs> Well, I went to when we went to Germany. Yeah, we went mm -hmm. when we first went there. We went with thirty songs, and after two or three months, we we played one hundred and twenty songs, all different kinds of songs. So you had to learn uh, lots of different styles, um, and that helps you to grow. And you played with other bands. Another band would play in the same venue. You would play for an hour. They would play for an hour. You would uh, learn from each other. And because you, you were abroad, you couldn't have a, what we call a day job. So we, we rehearsed in the daytime as well. And we learned new songs. We learned, uh, we learned so much in that such a small space of time. And we played for maybe eight, nine, 10 hours sometimes. It's, you, know, you learn a lot. You learn all about how to play together. You learn how to uh, maybe play quietly for a while, you can't play loud for 10 hours. You get a headache, you know, you, and so you, um, we learned a lot. Those opportunities aren't there anymore for people. And people now these days, they play on electric drum kits, which uh, is fine. I understand why, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different technique. It's, it's not the same as playing on acoustic, on acoustic drums. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Now- Thank you. We are at the, the, the central argument because we are all Dire Straits fans. So yes. we want to ask you, you how was uh, the period of Dire Straits? You are one of the founder, one of the fourth founder of Dire Straits. So you are the, the only one drummer that Mark appreciates also now. You are the only one that made uh, uh, Salta Zu Swing as he wants. <laughs> because all the other after uh, are uh, not good for him. He, he said uh, uh, in, in all interview, uh, in all interviews, this, this thing that Piquitas was the only one that made salt as a swing as I want. So what, what, what was, how was your Dire Straits period? Well, it was many things, you know, many, many things. It was, a, it was, a, a great journey which happened very quickly thankfully you know um there were there were some problems john and david it was the first group they played in so it was easy for me it was just i would play with mark because john and david were learning the songs and uh, it was just i'd had so, so much more experience than them so i wanted to you know make um make it a spectacle so i would twiddle my sticks and wear 
some flashy clothes, you know, to try and uh, be make a show, you know. But that generally speaking, it was it was very um, it was the whole thing happened very very quickly. So we had to um, we had to what we say learn on our feet. We had to be very very quick, otherwise. Uh, you would you would just you wouldn't make it you know to we played very in small venues at first mm -hmm. and then very just get out of the way for <laughs> please buddy just go, come on just go and lie down you, be, you pass it from uh, you pass it from uh, uh, being a a a close a close known group to be a, a, a celebrities in in few moments in few months well we didn't feel like celebrities because we people didn't recognize us and that was fantastic you know it wasn't a, a group that mm -hmm. uh, people would, would uh, recognize you know that they they thought we were american at first mm -hmm. and it was very it was in england where we lived yes the record company couldn't sell any records the the records weren't played on the radio okay the, the, the dire straits the sultans of swing we were told it was too long. We were told it was there were too many words, mm -hmm. and it couldn't be edited. It couldn't be made shorter. What happened was that on the radio they have every week they have a show that plays the the top twenty records in America. Okay. On the British radio, yeah. Dire Straits. Just one moment, I translate. Allora, okay. ragazzi, eh, gli ho chiesto com'era il periodo di Dire Straits. Ha detto che loro sono ovviamente passati da da un momento in cui erano nessuno al momento in cui sono diventati conosciuti ovunque, però non, è, non piacevano, non piacevano perché c'era e le canzoni erano troppo lunghe, too much long, troppo lunghe le canzoni e troppe parole, e invece negli Stati Uniti erano più apprezzati rispetto a qua, per cui è stato un periodo decisamente, è stata un'esplosione per loro il passare da da, da, dall'essere un gruppo di quattro persone che si sono incontrati the, the, the first group pick up the first group was the brewers drop brewers drop with mark the first no group... i don't remember that i, I remember being uh, playing for brewers drop in the studio in, studio in rockfield where i was working with spring okay and, and i was available to uh, to do play drums and play percussion because mm -hmm. basically what happened People lived at the studio. Okay. Yeah, there was accommodation. It was like a hotel, like a motel. A communication uh, place where um, more, more. It was in the countryside. People, people yeah, would yeah. go there. They wouldn't go home. They would go there, and it was, it was, at least uh, 200 miles from uh, London. Okay. You know, so people would come and they would stay there. They would sleep there, eat there, record there. Play, you know, oh, socialize yeah. there. So. Oh. And also, if they wanted any percussion, I, I was there to do it. You know, I wasn't specifically there to do it. But if somebody said, oh, we want a tambourine or we want some percussion on this. Well, I know a guy can do that. He lives nearby. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think that's how I played with Brewer's Droop. Mm -hmm. And then the pictures you see, I, I don't think they're of Brewer's Droop. They're of Cafe Racers playing, you know, which is another band that... Uh, Mark played with, which may have been, you know, there may have been some members that played in Brewer's Troop that okay. became part of Cafe Racers. And then Mark, we used the name Cafe Racers for a couple of gigs, but we changed it to Dire Straits. I have to ask you one thing. You played with Mark, you played with Bob Dylan, you played with uh, Rod Stewart. You played with... Uh, no, I didn't play with Rod Stewart. Not with Rod Stewart. No, I didn't play with Rod Stewart. Oh, I played with Bob Dylan. You, you played with Bob Dylan in Slow Trey Cameron. And, uh, yes. Uh, I, I, I know um, even Mark and uh, Bob uh, are two persons that uh, don't uh, like, didn't like uh, the celebrity, didn't like the, 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 the life of stars. They are more uh, closed people, more uh, like, mm. uh, like, like, like uh, uh, we are in Piemonte, in Italy. We are close people. We are like a mountain people. So I, I, know, I know that Mark doesn't, uh, Mark doesn't appreciate uh, uh, all the, 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 the period of uh, uh, where, where he, he hasn't a life uh, 
a normal life. Uh, we, you were uh, uh, on on the top uh, of uh, the recognizing uh, by fan by people, and so you have worked with these people. It's uh, better. Uh, the question is: uh, uh, Do you prefer to work with people like them, uh, or with people that uh, appreciate more the the celebrities, the the recognizing with fans? Um, I just like to people like play with people who have who make good music. You know, if if they have a problem with being a celebrity, you know, I probably won't. Depends how how they behave. Mm -hmm. You know. They think they're more important than you, or you know. Then I, it's, I don't work with them really that that much. You know, it's really about, about enjoying the the music and being able to contribute something that they they want. And you have to be flexible. You know, you, some people think that uh, right. You why do you want me? Because you like the way I play, so I will play this. I will play the way I play, and if it doesn't. Uh, If it's not what you want, then get somebody else. You know, it's kind of difficult to do that sometimes because if you, I think once I played in a session where I thought, um, I don't, this doesn't suit me. My style doesn't suit, and my style doesn't suit your music. But I know somebody who can do it. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're younger, you you wouldn't suggest that because it sounds like you can't do it because not because you. You're not suitable because you're not good enough, or it, it, it's some kind of in some kind of way it suggests that you are inadequate or something. And when you get older, you can you can say things like that, you know. So it depends, really. I mean, people who are obsessed with celebrity, they probably make music that they think will keep them as a celebrity, whereas other people make music because they feel compelled to to play it okay it's the big difference the big difference okay okay uh, oh look at what we say in this, moment, uh, in this moment there is also one other person that is uh, maurizio you 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 see billy mauri attacca la videocamera billy is uh, one uh, bluesman from the calabria from italy yeah. he's uh, he's one of the uh, counselor of the Uh, of the mm, juris, this ju, ju, juris, uh, uh, I'm not, I, I, I'm not, uh, ragazzi, come si dice tribunale in, uh, in inglese? Tribute? Uh, no, uh, I, I'm, I'm searching, just, just one moment that I present, I present him, okay. Uh, justice. Uh, just, just one moment, I, I, I don't see anything, because I'm an old dude, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next year I'm fi I will be 50 so I don't see anything near uh, he is uh, oh the Maurizio oh. Maurizio yes Maurizio is uh, a registry What's of the court registry of the court he is a one man but he is a blues man he played the harmonica and the saxophone He's a All at the same time. Very good musician. <laughs> All at the same time, no doubt. <laughs> no, not only at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> not that good then. <laughs> the harmonica with the with the mouth, and the saxophone with the other. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. He plays all, both instruments. So we have to ask to you one thing. We are all a pure fan of Dire Straits. So yes. we have one question. Why? why Dire Straits legend is born. Because uh, you were all original members, all original yeah. members, but not Marco Caviglia. Why? Well, why oh, all, well, all, uh, all, uh, yeah, but all with, I didn't play with, I only played with, uh, I, I went there because I wanted to go to Italy and I wanted to meet Jack, Jack Sony, yeah? Yes, Jack, yes. And they, they, that was the only guy that was I was playing with. I didn't play with the the other oh. guys. Ah, okay. okay. So they've all played at different times, okay. and I went two or three times, and then he he just he just pissed me off. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because he was he, he was behaving very strangely. You know? Okay, 
Well, I, I don't he, had a, he started wearing a headband. Started, this is the best. He started, the best started, started, the best started, started <laughs> right, writing his signature left-handed. And I thought, who is this, who is this guy? You know, I he got started doing all this stuff. For, I got to translate for Italian <laughs> friends. Allora, io ho chiesto perché i Dire Straits Legend. Allora lui ha detto che per l'amicizia che lo lega Jack Sonny, quando è capitato in Italia, ha suonato due o tre volte con loro. <laughs> okay, okay. We have you. You are on the you are on the same uh, mind uh, line that we. Have. Okay, Dire Straits Legend are a group that uh, as uh, uh, that that won the the song that Mark had made has made uh, some years ago in uh, in 2015. Uh, terminal of tribute to because, because uh, the original members are only four persons. All the other are people that has joined Dire Straits band, but all the original members, all the original music were you, John, David, and Mark. All the <laughs> other, other John's done it. John's done the John's played with Marco Caviglia. Yes, I know that John plays. Alan, with, Alan Clark has too. Alan Clark. I think, also, I'm not sure. Yeah, also, I didn't play uh, with them at the same time. Yes, also Phil, also Mel Collins, uh, also Chris White. Mel Collins I played with because he's yes. a lovely, lovely guy. Lovely, lovely guy. Alan's lovely sure. guy. Okay, okay. So we have, uh, uh, I want to, to leave uh, to my friends the time to pose a one, some question to you. I know, okay. that, I know that you have made the interview with the Spanish guys today with Alberto. And, yeah. uh, uh, but now I, I, I will leave uh, to the other some question at the moment. And then we have uh, finally to ask to you if you can dedicate one, uh, one, uh, one phrase, one uh, your uh, uh, words to our Italian, Spanish, and Angelian groups so that we are a fan. Uh, we are all fans of uh, of your music. You uh, you you are from uh, 90, 1948. I'm uh, 1971. Uh, you and your music. You you were uh, our uh, our the, the music of our soundtrack. Of our the, the tracks the the the, the soundtracks of our lives because yeah, that's right. I that's started right. That's to listen Dire Straits in 1978 and I was seven. <laughs> now, yeah. now I was. I, well, that's I, incredible. And the, the time is uh, <laughs> is passed, but uh, the music is always the same because uh, when uh, when there is a four. Pa, 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 it's salt as a swing, it's not other music. So the four peak, uh, the four peak of peak uh, <laughs> on, on, the, on your instrument are the start of salt as a swing. So this is the, the soundtrack for us. So I leave to the other. Ragazzi, okay. guys, if you want to make some question, the time is for you. <laughs> 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 Icham, it's for you. Yeah, okay. So uh, I'm delighted to be here. It's a great opportunity for me to be with one of the founding members of Dire Straits. It's uh, music that I listen to on a daily basis. So as a computer engineer, which works on, uh, which work currently on uh, technical projects, as a musician or as an artist with a, a life in music, uh, how is it like to have a career in music? I mean, traveling, preparing, and you said that sometimes you play like for 10 hours. So how is it like to have a career in music industry? Well, I feel very privileged. I feel very fortunate that it's, it's sometimes it's just when you were born, you know? Um, I don't think it can be what I what I have done, and a lot of a lot of my contemporaries have done. I don't think you can do it again today, because uh, as I said before, um, it just seems like a like a dream at first. But when I was in one of the better groups in Leicester, 
you know, probably the second, the second most successful group in Leicester, we decided to go to Germany. And that changed everything because uh, as we went to Germany, you couldn't have a, a normal job. You had, you, you know, you had to, you were abroad and you were introduced to different cultures. And uh, as I said before, we learned a lot of songs, played for many hours. And uh, it kind of became, we used to look at each other and say, this is better than, than working. <laughs> this is better than having a job. You know, this is fantastic. And uh, you bond together as well, because as you must realize if, if you go abroad, there's only maybe four or five of you. You're like, you're, you're a band of thieves, you know, you, you, you're together, you're very together. You know, you argue together, you live together, you sleep in the same rooms. It's, it, it, it makes you tough. You know, it's, you don't earn a lot of money, but it's, it's something you can do when you're much younger. Maybe you exposed to a different culture. There is, in a way, some kind of uh, nervousness because sometimes maybe you don't know where the next, next money is coming from. You know, there's always that. But when you're younger, I, I think that's much easier to deal with, you know. As you get older, you, you, you just want... For example, if I go on tour now, uh, I say, well, okay, I don't want to share a, a bedroom with anybody. I want my own bedroom. And that, you know, we never used to do that because that costs money. You have to share with somebody. Even footballers do that. But I think, no, I want my own bedroom this time. Even if it's a single, I want my own bedroom. And that, so that's the one thing that's changed. Um, but normally speaking, it, it's just a great, it's, it's a great opportunity to, to grow as a person as well. You know, when I went to Italy, I learned that, uh, lei sei italiano, no? Icham is Luca a, italiano. Icham Luca is a Nigerian. Ah? Only English and French, the French. Oh, French. Ah. <laughs> je, je, suis un, je, je suis un batteur. <laughs> oui, tout à fait, monsieur. <laughs> I played in... Uh, Played in Montpellier, it was fantastic, you know. When I went to Montpellier, we, uh, it was a university town, and I played in this, um, a farm, which was a disco, discotheque, and the guy lost all his clientele, all the university students, because there was a new disco in Montpellier. This is in 1960, 60, 66, 65, 65, 66. Yeah, 60, 1966. So he had a he, he brought a band from England. It was us to play in this in this uh, what was disco it was a bar and uh, just outside of Montpellier. And the first night there was seven people, second night twenty people, third night a hundred people, and it was very good timing because all the exams had finished. So when they when they heard that an English group was playing, they always to come to there, and the place was packed out and it, we just had such a good time there because it was just that in the summer it was in a farm students were happy that their exams were finished it was just such a great you know such a really great experience for everybody I think so and I played in Chamonix as well but we, I don't think we were very popular in France Dire Straits you know not, not like Supertramp or the Stones mm -hmm. it's, it's I don't know I don't, we didn't play a lot in France did we? Mm. Pika, Do you I... remember us being popular in France? Yes. yes. I'm asking the guy. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. I remember playing the Palais des Sports in Paris. Do you think, do you think that uh, uh, in these uh, uh, new years, in the future years, uh, yes. some group uh, like uh, Rolling Stone, Beatles, Dire Straits, uh, like like you, like your groups of your age, uh, uh, it's possible that some group like this uh, are uh, uh, the possibility to 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 have a birth and to have the success like like, like you. Second success. Yes. Well, it's, I saw on uh, I saw that that, uh, that, they... new, that new group uh, can. Born, birth. They can have a birth like you, 
from yeah. from the, the the lower level of the of, of the work and become famous with work not only with the marketing okay yeah um, well i think you have to the only way to be famous now is to to do a lot of networking you know because the the record sales the cd sales people don't want to don't want to pay the money for it they think they can just you know burn cds and streaming i just feel very sad about that there's no artwork people don't know who played on the records people don't know who produced the records people don't know where the record was made you know people don't have any kind of relationship with the artist at all it's just it's just a noughts and ones you know the digital age there's no relationship it's not like when i was young we we used to see when i was playing in bands in spring we would see people walking along on saturday with a lp on their side and it was almost like a it was almost like a, a uniform it was like i'm into this group you know i uh, they they represent me you know so you were people walking around with pink floyd albums and free albums and king crimson and uh, it was a real uh, ex- explosive time with uh, ideas procol harum with have a classical nature the beatles the stones played blues you know king crimson played a kind of almost avant-garde kind of music you know you had uh, the downline say played blues you have uh, then you have pop groups and you have harmony groups it, it, it you don't have that diversity anymore so but what i did see was encouraging the other day was dave gilmore he played in uh, chile and the audience was definitely much in a stadium of 80,000 people and he played all the old pink floyd songs and they knew all the words and the words seemed to it wasn't like a pop concert where they just sing the words because they know them they sang the words because they believed them they believed the words maybe it's something to do with you know pinochet and all that that kind of stuff the po- politics of south america you know there, there are a lot of people that have been damaged by the politics in south america and uh, there it's it's a kind of healing that they that, that they get from the concert you know mm-hmm. because that era has there's a little bit more depth to the music i'm not saying it's you know profound but it's has a little bit more depth to it than out and out music and your fans are very young now we we have a we have to leave you we 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 are a, we, we are very proud to be here uh, we, with you this evening but uh, we know also that uh, we we have to, to, to quit this, this interview. Uh, we, we stay, we, 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 we would stay here until tomorrow morning <laughs> because <laughs> it's a very, very good moment. But uh, we have uh, to ask to you if you can say one word for our group, for Tatito from Spain to Magnofler Genius from Italy from not for uh, nofleriani.it from italy we are three groups that uh, we love uh, all uh, all your works all your music uh, uh, the music of your life that is the music of our life so if you can some words some uh, so, some words only to to dedicate to our groups that we are uh, always uh, on uh, online to to research a new new possibility to 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 listen your your music or your and on all of your friend new view music we we ask only this if you can if you can say some, something for us uh, for our three groups from spain and from italy and from uh, each and from algeria so uh, that uh, tomorrow we can share on our groups and uh, leave our friends uh, with <laughs> with uh, emotion like uh, we have lived this evening okay well i would like to thank you all for you know being such dedicated followers and uh, it's it's nice to know that when you make a record it's not something that just sits on the shelf people play it people get a lot from it and uh, that's really gratifying to know that uh, that is what happens and uh, 
if I can post anything to you about sort of suggestions from other music to listen to, it's it's in the same kind of you know style. I would do so, you know, in the future. But uh, I would like to thank you all for being such dedicated, you know, fans and being such uh, nice people, sim simpatici, simpaticissimi, <laughs> and uh, to to all the French people, au revoir, bianto. To, to the Italians, vi ringrazio, vi ringrazio per la tua attenzione e I can't speak Spanish. <laughs> no, no, grazie no. a te. Grazie a te. Grazie a te. How we can, how we can listen, how we can listen your new project. Uh, you can, uh, you and your wife Linda, you can uh, uh, contact us with uh, some. Yes, message. of course we will. When you will prepare your uh, your new project? It, it will be in January, okay? Okay. Gennaio, okay. Gennaio. We yeah. will okay. be... We will Gennaio. Be, we, will, uh, we will wait uh, just uh, from this evening because uh, it's a very, very good thing. Uh, I, I, I know that... Uh, uh, music is, uh, is always life uh, for uh, all people because uh, music is uh, one of the... Um, expression of our soul, our creativity. Uh, we, uh, I'm preparing a, a Les Paul for one of my friends that is a frontman of a cover band of Dire Straits. Uh, Gianni has uh, one uh, electronic uh, drum. Uh, but when we were in Paris, in the baguetteery, that is the paradise of drummer, he sit, he sit uh, in, uh, on a Roland on acoustic Roland with an air, <laughs> but he, he played and it was a, really, really a, a miracle of <laughs> this sound. Gianni, dicevo del suono a Parigi, quando hai suonato con la Roland. And, uh, Ho capito, capito, certo. <laughs> certo. We, we love the music. We love when, uh, when uh, there are uh, 60,000, 70,000 person in a studio with a group uh, over there to see this is the, the real emotion of the music uh, to be all together now is impossible but uh, we hope that uh, time and uh, the, 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 this, this, this COVID time will finish early and then we will start another time to go to the studio, to the theaters, to listen the music with person on front and not only with the, with the video because uh, uh, the music is good but uh, with the person on the front the emotions is more deep it's deeper yes that uh, all people <laughs> okay can can look it's eh? uh, profondo molto profondo <laughs> okay <laughs> eccolo e lui e lui che suona l'armonica e il sassofono e lui <laughs> Prima hai sentito che cosa ha detto Pico? Eh, amo io. E tu sei amo... molto profondo, Luca. Ok, ok. Mi ha chiesto se suoni l'armonica e il sassofono in contemporanea. Oh. <ride> solo, solo, solo harp, harp, blues music, harp, armonica. Ok, you, you need to... Uh... Senti, Dimmi. conosci Paul Lam? No. Paul Lam? Paul, Paul, oh. Paul Lam, Paolo, Paul, in Paolo. Lam. Okay, Paul. Um, okay. Uh, he's uh, one of the best harmonica players. You must try oh, to okay, okay. Find, yes. him, find him. He plays yes. uh, dramatic. And you, okay, you will be amazed. He's English. No, diat no diatonic. I oh, yeah, diatonic. Okay. But you, you should watch him because he plays both. And he's, he's, <laughs> you, you, will, you will be amazed. Mauri, please, uh, please take time to find him. Eh, non, non ho capito, scusami Luca. Mi tocca imparare a suonare qualcos'altro. Eh, eh, lo so. We, Jazz. We are all person that think about that there's no time to finish to learning. No. All day we, we wake up, we open the eyes, we thank you for being alive another day after another day. And all, every day we start to learn something more because it is important never think about that uh, 
we are arrived uh, to one uh, to one uh, target. The target yeah. is only one one uh, point, one checkpoint, and then A we check okay. learn something else. Pick. We will okay. thank you so much. We appreciate. <laughs> <ride> attenzione significa prendere le bacchette <ride> because Pic you know that uh, last year we were in Turin to listen uh, one of the final uh, gigs of Mark in, uh, in Turin and uh, Maurizio was uh, into Maurizio is from Calabria, from the south of Italy. Yes, and was into oh, yeah. with, us, with me, with my girlfriend, and with Gianni. And uh, Phil, Phil Collins, Phil. Our Italian Phil Collins. <laughs> 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 but, <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much to all of you. Alberto, a, a, a tutti. Antonella, ciao Marco, Phil, ciao, ciao, ciao. Oh, one second, one second before, one second before we leave, can we take a picture? Yeah. All of us? How do you do that? Yes. So I make a screenshot and then we, we can share it. Okay. If you want. Okay. So. Done. <laughs> Okay, thank you. No? Thank you so much. Yeah. Ciao, bye. ciao. Ciao, bye. ciao a tutti, ciao a tutti. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.